YouTubers, good morning, and welcome to Morning Coffee with Mike. Thanks for joining me, guys. I wanted to throw a few things up there. The garden, I got a lot of people asking me questions about the garden. Yes, the garden's doing well. We're, we're doing most of it by seed. So we're, 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 it's gonna be a little bit of time before you start to see any accomplishments with the garden. So I'll keep you guys up to date with that. Uh, another question somebody asked was about oil. Uh, asking me questions about oil. Mike, oil's down today. Yeah, you know, I sold this morning. That's how you guys gotta do it. You gotta watch the dips. Watch it, watch it, watch the patterns. And I think it's gonna go down a buck or two or three bucks. I think the stocks now are gonna start taking hits. I think a lot of stocks have been, a lot of oil stocks have been very resilient to uh, the crash, the oil crash, right? So a lot of stocks have been very resilient. So keep an eye on them, watch the patterns, create a mock uh, portfolio on Yahoo Finance, it's free, just a mock one. Follow the patterns, see where things are at. You know, make a fake a fake account where you you, you, you would invest a thousand fake dollars in, so you can see where you're at at the end of a, at the end of a month or two, and, and kind of see if your projections were right, right? Uh, okay. So also that I wanted to throw something else out there. I, I've been watching a, a lot of movies with my son before he goes to bed, and we've been watching the RoboCop series uh, with Officer Murphy. Robocop, the whole nine yards. What a great movie series. And I'm gonna tell you why I found it very interesting on a look back on that movie. I can't believe how they've predicted so much of the future in that movie. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the commercials that they insert in that movie. They make commercials to kind of make you feel like you're in Detroit, like you're in that scene, you're watching the news, and the, and and their three minutes uh, three minutes uh, news clips uh, know what's happening in the world in three minutes and it's really good. So they keep periodically throwing them up once in a blue moon to kind of give you an update what's happening. And I just can't get over how some of the stuff they looked at and predicted and kind of uh, played with, and especially part three. Part three was really good because. They, they, they are building homes. And what they're doing, they're building skyscrapers for the wealthy. They're not building anything for the average worker. And the average worker is getting, is getting basically taken out of their homes so they can build these expensive uh, luxury skyscrapers. So it's really good how, how that movie, in all three parts, how they kind of predicted the algorithm of where things were gonna be heading. When it comes to affordability levels, when it comes to a lot of things, I, I was just and turning into a police state in part three. Watch RoboCop, guys. If you want to watch something good, watch RoboCop. Because now you're seeing it from a perspective of the future, right? It's kind of like watching Back to the Future, part two again, because they went to 20, was it 2015 they went to? In the, from 1985, they went to 2015. And they predicted a few things. You know, the flying cars never happened. A lot of the things we wanted to happen, technologically-wise, never happened, right? And that's the the sad part of that movie, was all the, the fantastic future they predicted never happened, right? Um, anyways, I wanted to put that out there. Also, I was getting questions about people asking how uh, my eBay business is doing. And it, it does well, guys. You know, if you have an eBay business... I, I did a video series on how to start an eBay business from scratch. It's on my video uh, video playlists, so you guys could learn how to uh, how easy it is to do it on your own. And kind of, I found out ways to get around the whole shipping and try to save on shipping. And I did that too. So I understand a lot of people don't sell because shipping is too expensive. But I'm finding ways around things. You just got to be really patient, guys, and you have to to be patient with things you know things happen but you gotta really work it and work it in a positive light you know what I'm saying so uh, I'm putting up a few clips from the Mike in the night from last Saturday if you missed Mike in the night from Saturday live lots of good call-ins lots of good people lots of good feedback lots of good um, you know discussion from all over and then uh, trends in the housing market if you missed it last Wednesday it's 
It's up in the uh, in the playlist for trends in the housing market on the channel. We have Steve the plumber for a whole hour discussing what is happening in the housing sector and where he thinks housing is going to be headed, especially with him working very closely with foreclosures and stuff. And guys, don't forget tonight, trends in the housing market, if you guys could join me, uh, we'll be live and we'll be having call-ins from everybody all over the world talking about the housing crisis, whether it's affecting them through jobs, whether it's affecting them through economic measures that are being put in place. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys all tonight. So that's another update, guys. So thanks for joining me, guys, for Morning Coffee with Mike. Today it's called Morning Donuts with Mike. And I'm on my way home. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be at the shop Thursdays and Fridays, too. So I'm going to open an extra day a week. And it looks like it's doing okay. Look forward to uh, reading your comments below. And I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks for joining. What a gorgeous day. I hope everybody out east in Toronto is enjoying this beautiful weather because everyone says Canada has one temperature and it's cold. But I don't think so. If you live in different parts of Canada, you'll realize what I'm talking about real quick in a heartbeat. Comment below. Thanks for watching and God bless.